Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today we are looking at some cracks in the the iron shield that has been the Town Hall 10 meta of La Loon. We are seeing some variety, and it just happened in the War of Immoral Thieves. Uh, I always love watching their Town Hall 10s and the awesome attacks they pull off. And this is interesting timing, you know, about a week before CWL. We're seeing these non-meta attacks. We're going to look at dragons, and we're going to take a look at miners. Both got a buff in the update, as well as P.E.K.K.A.s and witches, which we should look to see um, possibly in even the first week of CWL. But it is weird timing because people don't have that much time to practice before the season starts. Uh, that being said, we are already seeing attacks like these. So I want to show you guys two attacks today that are not the uh, the typical attacks we see. Talk a little bit about Town Hall 10 and how it might shape up. Because the big thing on everyone's mind uh, in the war community right now is the uh, four CWL seasons that are about to start. It's going to be a lot of fun, uh, much bigger, hopefully, and probably than the... Uh, the first season of CWL, like I said, Genesis is in CWL Premiere. That is kind of the second CWL in terms of weight. Um, but they're all very competitive and they all should be fun uh, to compete in and to see on YouTube and streams and different stuff. So I'll be covering CWL in some shape or form. <clears throat> Not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, the logistics and stuff, but you guys are going to see some content on my channel for sure. That being said, let's take a look at some of these attacks. You can see this base trying to defend against the Laloon meta, no doubt, puts the two air defenses and the Inferno very accessible for the king and the queen. That's almost a no-brainer to come in there with the with the heroes and take out all three of those important buildings. The defensive queen is still up, but that's not as big of a deal when you're attacking with dragons. They can puff her down pretty quickly. The CC, I don't think he lured it. I kind of missed that. Uh, but yeah, the CC not an issue for his dragons. Those air traps can be, but they tend to cluster up, making the splash damage pretty effective at taking them out. So the dragons are moving through quickly. That one heal was a little bit off. It didn't really heal any dragons. It is somewhat difficult, more difficult than you might think, to use spells on dragons. Pay attention to that little dot beneath them. That's where they actually are uh, relative to the base. It gives the optical illusion, same with balloons, of them being higher up because they're an air troop, but drop it so it affects the uh, shadow of them on the ground. That's a good word, shadow. That little round dot. Uh, drop it in that sense, and that way you'll make sure you get them affected, and you also have to kind of predict where they're going to go, which can change if they something aggros them, like a trap or the queen or a CC troop. So it is a little bit difficult to predict, but do your best. Try to you know get the rage and the heal on as many dragons as possible. Uh, so anyway, Cascazilla, awesome attack. Comes down to the wire though for sure. You can see him dropping in these archers, but there's nothing they can do until the dragon engages those Teslas. Uh, right here it takes out the camp. About half health left. Starting to drop some archers. Uh, he'll go ahead and drop that last one right there. But that dragon's so low on health. I uh, Pre-update this would not have been a 3 star, but post-update it is Barely a three star thanks to the balance from Supercell. Look at that dragon. You can see how much health it has left. About, I don't know, maybe five to ten percent. Uh, crazy stuff. Awesome attack. Let's take a look at these miners though. Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10. And it's interesting because this base not being max definitely makes it easier. Everything's about mid level. The cannons, the archer towers, the wizard towers, not actually. They're just Town Hall 9 level, uh, but the Infernos are level 2, and the Expos actually are, are max for Town Hall 10. So a very good example of a mid-level Town Hall 10. Starting off, this is uh, a Bleak Day da, Do. Um, hopefully not another Lord of the Rings character, but uh, regardless of his name, or her name, I guess, uh, coming in here with a Queen Walk, which... 
uh, was very common and might continue to be a common strategy. Uh, it was pre up or way back when uh, when miners were used. You'd see queen walks paired with them often, and it is a good combination. The queen walk and the miners they do uh, make a good match for each other. Coming in there for that one inferno, uh, very exposed, so easy to get. Doesn't even have to use the ability. Just has the rage, has the poison for the CC troops. The king took out a good. Uh, you know, 90 to 120 degrees of the base around the outside before he did eventually go down. So uh, pretty good investment. The king, um, especially for miners that target any building right there, good queen's ability. But especially for miners, that king walk is more important than you think because it exposes the defenses of this base. It helps the miners stay inside the base to do like a preliminary king little... Uh, gallop around the outside of the base you can see as a result his miners will move through much quicker and they're not going to get stuck on trash buildings because the king already took them out very effective when used properly especially when the king doesn't have as big of a role otherwise so here come the miners just dropping those heels as you guys remember the reason they got nerfed was because uh they now they stay up a little bit longer they don't uh duck underground quite as quickly and that was what originally nerfed them but they have um they're a little bit more resilient now, and I think they got, what was it, uh, HP buff? I want to say I'm spacing out totally, but the miners did get a buff. I should definitely know this. I don't know why. I can't remember right now. Uh, but they, they're they going to be more of an option for sure. You can see them coming through the base here, and uh, they're not quite what they were. They're not probably even close, because this is a very close attack. If the queen's not up, this would be uh, much closer still. But the miners are back to a certain extent for sure. And I think on certain bases like this one, especially Town Hall 10 mid-level and below, not the max 10s as much probably, but the uh, the mid-tier and the low-tier Town Hall 10s, this can be a reliable strategy on the right base as it was here for uh, Oblique. So great stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I spaced on the, on the minor change. Uh, I don't have my notes with me. I think it was a, a buff in HP. I don't see what else it could have been. Um, but I spaced out in that. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, it should be interesting what we see at Town Hall 10 coming up in CWL. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisect the Toronto.